Hey guys, uh, welcome in to another video. So I'm working some NASCAR custom die cast for you, 164 scale. Today is Tuesday, April 27th. I'm in the middle of uh, getting some JB Weld on a few of these cars here that are um, ready for that stage of the process. I've already got my my concoction already put together. Mix the two epoxies, the steel and the hardener in this little plate of mine here and uh, just slathering it on with my little toothpick. It's kind of how it how I uh, how I roll here. Um, getting this covered up here. Um, I've got extra I'm, I'm, I've gotten really bad with my uh, my portion control here on my uh, on my JB weld. I'm just getting way too much, um, and so I have extra. So I just slather it on uh, as this hardens really strong. Does a really good job of keeping these cars all together. So. Pretty busy. Um, I've got a lot of things that are going on right now. Busy at work this week. Got a training class. That's one of those training classes that takes up your full day and then they assign homework. And I got a test later this week to take. And uh, um, should be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully, I pass. <laughs> but. Um, <clears throat> doing some painting in the house. I got some wood flooring on order um, as we try to get rid of our carpet. <clears throat> and so, um, yeah, just a lot of stuff going on. Um, mentioned that uh, my daughter's graduating from high school. We're having a, a graduation party for her in June. And my wife and I want a bunch of different things done before then. So, um, yeah, busy times. Busy times. I got stuff I want to do outside, stuff I want to do inside. Um, you know, work is work. You know, it's your regular uh, eight, sometimes nine uh, hours a day. Monday through Friday, and then couple hours usually of doing stuff that I have strength to do whether it's painting or wood flooring or cleaning or whatever um, got to change the oil in one of our cars coming up here and clean out the inside so uh, just you know in the middle of the grind of life is really where I'm at and, um, you know, life is not always a, a bed of roses where you get to sit back on the couch and, and relax and, and just, you know, smell the roses, so to say. Uh, sometimes it's, uh, it's very busy, extremely busy, um, long days, short nights. And um, I say all that as I'm trying to also move things forward with my hobby. <laughs> so, and do a video now and then um, as, uh, as I have opportunity. So, appreciate you guys uh, following along. I, um, I've got, I'll show you that real quick. So, I've got uh, three of these. Um, Kyle Bush, thank you heroes, 254s and 118. I'm also going to do this Kenseth uh, McDelivery car, but I, I was looking at the, um, at the, the NASCAR Authentics car, and it's pretty good. Uh, it matches pretty well, so I, I've kind of modified this one. I'm going to use this, and I'm going to, um, uh, 
use the, the PFC Bosfeld uh, decal, and um, and 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 this pretty and that pretty much matches what this uh, what this car is. So um, so yeah, I think I'll save this scheme or these decals for a um, I don't know maybe I'll do like a chrome red or you know something something different with uh, with these decals maybe a I don't know maybe a black or even a gold I don't know we'll see but um, you know sometimes I order decals you know this is a good example sometimes I order decals and Lionel ends up producing the the paint scheme so yeah it's kind of frustrating but you know it's it's hard to know exactly you know when Lionel is going to release something if it's going to come out in a box version or come out as a um, uh, as a NASCAR Authentics where you can pick it up at Walmart for five bucks you know so it's hard to know sometimes you end up with that and that's where I just do special paint schemes whether like this gold uh, Greg Biffle safety clean that I'm working or if I use it for something else um, inevitably you know I can do silver black gold you know whatever off color scheme that uh, comes to mind or what I think might look cool uh, I can use the decals for that and um, and thus not you know waste uh, waste the decals so um, so anyways that's what's going on with that uh, back here I got those four JB weld uh, the other couple that I'm working over here a couple other Ken Seth ones this is the um, uh, the Ronald McDonald uh, house charities one and then this is his regular uh, McDonald's car, not the McDelivery, but the regular McDonald's car. And so, um, yeah, slightly different. This one definitely has to be custom made. Lionel did not make it, and is not planning on making it. I think the only two cars that they actually released were the Credit One car and the McDelivery car. That's it for Matt's 2020 schemes. So there's a handful of other cars that I that I need to do uh, for that purpose. Um, I've got the uh, I've got these stripped. These Christopher Bell uh, cars uh, are stripped. Uh, next step is to um, uh, get these wire brushed and cleaned up and ready for uh, the white paint. Because I think I mean this this isn't going to be too difficult. Um, I may pre-paint a little bit on the back end black. Uh, around here so that so that I get full coverage um, uh, across there because that whole back end is going to be black uh, the red I'll have to just measure it out and see if that stretches if not I may pre-paint a little bit of the red around this front fender uh, at least partial right here and then up along to there uh, we'll see we'll see but yeah so that's that like I said I've got this uh, Greg Biffle car um, just at the point where I'm cutting out the decals uh, for this thing um, pretty straightforward if I can get this camera to settle uh, pretty straightforward uh, the way that these go um, you know that's the roof that's the the hood this is the front end this is the uh, let me see you know this is the the back this is the trunk lid this little piece here and I've got these for the sides it's pretty self-explanatory so I'll put that together uh, as I have you know as I work throughout the day sometimes I can I can sneak over here and dip a little uh, a few decals in the water and do a little bit um, but I had, had a had a request to, to kind of walk through the decal set and how I trim it out and what goes where uh, so I'll do that real quick with this uh, Ryan Blaney um, 2015 let's get the car over here so it's it's kind of it's kind of self-explanatory with the sides right so this this whole area here is all on the side 
um, and this whole area here is on the uh, the passenger side you know this goes across the the deck lid here uh, roof and actually I was looking at the at the the pictures of the car it it did say just Blaney for this particular race uh, that he didn't qualify for not Ryan Blaney see the the Ryan Blaney the Ryan Blaney showed up earlier on in his um, I think 2014 2015 season and then they just went with Blaney um, there might have been a concern that his dad was racing um, so they had Ryan Blaney there but then it just went to Blaney and so uh, I don't really need this particular decal I'll use the Blaney that came with the donor car and then you know this is the uh, the hood and the, and the Ford logo there um, you know this is the front end that's pretty that's pretty clear here's the the back um, and the spoiler is indeed red on this car so I've done this before I'll probably need to paint the spoiler red because this is not these decals are not big enough to cover the full spoiler so um, I'll need to uh, I'll need to get some red paint there um, this this little area of the decal sheets from Mr. Pato, um, this is for the uh, uh, the driver's seat. Okay, you can see the uh, the driver's suit. You know, this is like his arms and his helmet here, and this is his suit with the little Simpson seat belts. So, a few years back, I tried to use that decal and lay it into the seat there on the uh, plastic piece but it was an epic fail it didn't work um, and it was really a pain in the butt to try to get to lay in there nicely so at the end of the day I don't use those um, they're nice but if I was putting together something that was really gonna be like a a model and it had the actual driver you know plastic driver inside the car then maybe I would probably try to do that but there's no driver in here and so um, uh, Mr. Pato provides that uh, as part of his decal set but I don't use it and the same thing goes with um, largely with this uh, with this area here uh, these um, extra dark decals um, I, I don't use those uh, sometimes they come in handy because it's really the the a little and and maybe you guys know what this is for but I've looked at it as just some extra decals in case you need uh, to fit in some pieces somewhere um, you know it's it's not on this set uh, you know and it's not on the 95 set it's just in some of the earlier sets um, you know it's not on this set so I don't um, I don't I don't use these unless I need them to fit in somewhere but since I had the black background removed on this particular set um, it's I just painted everything black so it's it's not these this I just throw this away so yeah just I think the key is look at the decal set and actually look at pictures of the car that you're trying to build and then go from there um, because some of the decals can be um, just you know good decals that that work with the car and others can be just not really needed um, and some of the people that do and and if you have to know that when when Pato does these decals or offers these decals, he he, he kind of does it for the slot car um, customer. Sure, I mean we use it for diecast, but it's really for the slot car customer where they may have a little a little guy that sits inside the car, plastic car, and um, and and they are built to fit on the slot car bodies, not necessarily on these bodies. So, anyways that's uh that's some of the uh um 
uh, ways that I do it. Always looking at the pictures of the actual race car and then use the decals to, um, uh, to make that replica. So good luck with that. Hope, uh, hope that's helpful to you guys. Uh, may not answer all your questions, but that's, uh, that's kind of what I know on that front. So I finished up the pedigree car, the 2016 pedigree car. I'm in the stage of, of um, uh, applying a clear sealer to it. So that will be uh, done uh, probably today as I put sealer on it. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, I'm happy with the way it turns out. It comes up a little short, you know, here. On these uh, on these fenders right above the rear tires here as it comes up doesn't quite meet uh, there with the um, with the window you can see the yellow across there that's I don't say that's standard but unfortunately that's the case you know same thing a little bit on this side I tried to lift it up a little bit so there's a little yellow showing there but yeah it's still coming up short there and these, you know, it just doesn't always, the decal length doesn't always account for the, the distance uh, across here uh, because of the, um, uh, the bend uh, to get there. So, but all in all, I'm happy with it. It's pretty good. Everything else seemed to line up pretty good. The front, the front turned out pretty well. I'm happy with that. So... Hope you like that, Joey. And then yesterday, I finished decaling this Heritage um, number 18 for Chris. So um, this one's pretty cool, I have to admit. The car was... So, so he had his... Looking at the pictures of it, right? In 2015, Kyle uh, won the championship. And he drove the M&M's crispier. You can see that the, this is the, the crispier uh, logo here. Car. But I think this was Richmond. He drove this American Heritage Chocolate um, scheme. Which is basically a, his American Heritage Chocolate with the crispier uh, colors. See, it's got Colonial Williamsburg on the deck lid there American Heritage chocolate on the back so um, yeah I mean looking at this is pretty cool uh, another green this was a green spoiler so I don't have to paint that Woo um, so yeah I, I was uh, I was reminiscing you know whenever you're making these cars and you know maybe you're adding your to your collection it's cool to go back and look at the pictures and kind of put yourself back in that uh, in that time window, you know. Uh, what am I trying to say? The the time capsule going back in time and and saying, oh yeah, I remember that race. I remember, you know, him winning the championship and excitement over the uh, uh, the different paint schemes and stuff and what was actually taking place back then. So uh, pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. Front end turned out pretty well. Again, I'm happy with it. Conforms over the body pretty nicely. I didn't use any micro sole uh, on the front. Um, trying to think, no, I didn't. I didn't use it. I used a little bit on the sides to get this to to fold down and this to go in the side there. But um, but yeah. Happy with that car? All right, let me show you guys. Here, let me let me do a little bit of a little bit of rearranging here. I'll decal that car later. Got some decals. Got some airmail coming in yesterday from 
Australia. Blue Lake Wetland. It's very pretty. Very pretty. Well, let's see what's inside. Let's see what's inside. See what's coming down the pipeline. Get a little bend here. I was folding it, bending it before I opened it up earlier, before the video started. Oh yeah. As I remember what I ordered. <laughs> so here we have a Brandon Jones number 19 Xfinity Toyota. Uh, the apple is for the teacher, um, so it was Toyota's recognition of teachers, and I believe it's the throwback scheme. I'm trying to look and see if that's the case. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, he won the race in this car. If I remember correctly, in the Xfinity series, there was a couple guys got tangled up uh, towards the end of the race that were in front of him. And uh, and he went on to win the race. So it's a, um, I think it's a bright yellow scheme that I had that background removed. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and just building this, right? So pretty straightforward Supra. Um, it'll be interesting to try to get this green across this nose to line up with this area here. I'll probably need to put this decal on first and then uh, piece this in here. Um, I won't use these curved pieces here because if I need it, I'll just paint it black. And um, But everything else should be pretty straightforward, piecing all these little things in here. Yeah, that'll be cool. Cool, I had a request for that. All right, now we have a Bubba Wallace, Daryl Wallace Jr. Um, vote number 43 so you can see it says 11 3 20 vote and he drove this in 2020 uh, door dash little door dash logo there <coughs> Chevy Camaro I'm trying to think what color this was I think it might have been a a lighter blue I'll have to look Lighter blue? I don't think it was red. Was it red? Maybe it was red. Yeah, I'm looking at the um, at the the trunk pins here and the hood pin there. It looks like it was red. So maybe I had the red removed. And um, yeah, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I'm looking at the Goodyear. There's a little bit of red that kind of doesn't get deleted in between the lettering there. And so, yeah, so it must have been a red scheme. So I'll paint that the apple red rust-oleum. And that'll be that. Okay, so then I had a request for a Matt De Benedetto Monster Menards. And I went back and forth on which, which color to remove and decided to remove the black. So black background removed. And this will be, excuse me, I had a big yawn there. Um, it's early in the morning here. It's like 5 a.m. <laughs> but I'm doing this video. So, um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is going to be one big fat decal along the sides. Get it to line up with this piece here. Yeah, that shouldn't be too hard. Look and see what color the spoiler is. But Matt De Benedetto in the 21 Monster car. I still think it's funny that they don't release any little 164s with the Monster logos. I mean, I don't know. You've got the Harvick Bush beer ones and uh, that are come on the little stand, but they won't do Monster or Nos. I don't know. What does that tell you about 
high fructose corn syrup and alcohol, are they in the same category? I don't know. Okay, so here we have a starburst number 54. Starburst duos. So this will be a bright yellow. Had this request. Had that bright yellow removed. Kyle Busch scheme. It's going to be really nice. Another big yawn. Excuse me. All right, let me get get this one up here first. So then I had another request for Daryl Wallace, Bubba Wallace Jr. Columbia PFG. Check this out. This is a full wrap car. This is going to be crazy. Yeah. I'll probably paint it black and then apply these decals over top of it. Just so that any little seam around here will be black. But that'll be uh, that'll be an interesting car. Whenever you do those full wraps, they always they always are interesting. Then I had a request for a I think it's Raphael Lassard Kanak number four Toyota Tundra uh, truck, and so this will be a black truck, and yeah. That should be pretty straightforward. I won't need, I won't need these uh, spoiler decals, and I'm not going to use this thing here. But, um, but yeah, my my issue is I don't have any uh, Toyota Tundras, so I'm going to have to pick up some 164 Toyota Tundras. If you guys have any idea where I can get them at a good price, I'd appreciate it. I'm looking at the ones on eBay, and they're like ten, twelve dollars a piece. I'd rather not spend that. Um, I like to get my donor cars for five or six bucks a piece, so we shall see. Billy. Billy asked for his goofy number 26, um, Ricky Bobby, Wonder Bread. So here's the decals for that. They look really nice, actually. Some of the decal sets aren't, aren't the best. And then the number 26 Laughing Clown Malt Liquor. That'll be a complicated paint scheme. I was looking at that. That'll be uh, difficult to make. You can see all the little crazy lines and everything like that. But um, but yeah. Talladega Nights. Um, Billy likes that movie. So we're going to try to replicate a few of these cars uh, for him. And... Uh, yeah, should be fun. Should be fun. That's what I've got, guys. I hope you... Whoops. Here I am banging the camera. Last minute. Um, hope you guys have a great day. I hope that was helpful to you. You can see what's coming down the road and and um, just some of my... A uh, few more of my tips. But I uh, hope you guys have a, have a great day. Working customs. Hope you continue to do... Great things as we strive to make 164 custom die cast making great once again. In the pursuit of perfection, uh, let's do our best. God bless you guys. Have a great day. Thanks.